Bill Gates said, and I quote, Technology is just a tool. In terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them, the teacher is the most important. Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome. It's wonderful to see you all here today. And thanks for taking out time for us. I know the day is busy. The school year is off to an excellent start. And yet, you are welcome to the orientation for parents session 2020 and 2021. As we all know, no program can be started without remembering the Almighty Allah, the creator of the whole universe. So let's start the session with the beautiful verses of Holy Quran. For the recitation, I would like to call Azan Siddiqui from class 7C. اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم صدق الله العلي العظيم سبحان الله now for the translation, I would like to call Khalid Asharaf from class 8S. In the name of you, Lord who created, created man out of a clot of congealed blood, proclaim, and he is the most bountiful, he who taught by the pen, he who taught man what he did not know. Subhanallah, a thoughtful mind, when it sees a nation's flag, sees not the flag, but the nation itself. The video that you are about to watch is taken from our program called Gumunicate. The good thing about this program is that the whole program is organized by our students. Now we will move towards our national anthem followed by the school song. Let's move towards the school song.
And with that, I will be handing over the program to our Honorable Principal, Ma'am Fatma Haris. Thank you and over to you, Ma'am. Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everybody here. This is Fatma Haris from the Gulshan Boys Campus A. I welcome you to the session 2021. And what best way to start a session rather than accepting the fact that intelligence is the ability to change. Instead of addressing a live audience, today I speak to you, welcoming you to join us online rather than physically. 43 years ago, Dr. Farzana, our managing director, started off with the first school in Karachi. Since then, the motto has always been, I am to learn. Indeed, we have learned. The period of pandemic taught us to be resilient. Years ago, we grew up with stories, try, try till you succeed. That was our childhood. And now, we are told to be resilient, to bounce back. This is the ability which has been taught by the COVID-19. Imagine the hindsight or the foresight of our Dr. Farzana Feroz when she developed the vision 21st century education should enrich the mind, warm the heart and awaken the spirit, she said. We are walking in times, five months gone behind, in isolation, in the safe confines of our homes, and yet we are moving ahead. Our beloved students, their parents and staff members, there are no words to thank you for what you have done in the past five months. Thank you everyone for the great support you have rendered in these difficult times. Our homes, our families and our schools never stopped. Learning continued. We never took a moment of respite. We started from the very next day, whether it was 27th or 28th February. We went into Zooms, Google Classrooms. We also explored a lot of variety of options for WhatsApp to make it a working viable option as study can never be forsaken. Then we came up with the Teams software, the blended learning that continued today and to date is a witness for the changes that we have adopted and from the vision of the school we derive the same for our own campus where our staff and students work hand in hand towards professionalism, towards quality education, developing a passion and confidence, learning self-management and definitely the past few months have taught us whether we have to learn, relearn or unlearn. Yet we have become the warriors of technology, combating globally, never left behind and thankful for the great quality education that we are attached with, the city school. I have a lot many people to thank for the support and cooperation extended in managing these young little boys of grade 7 to 11, the future generation. They would introduce themselves by school leadership team with Ms. Maliha Majid as the vice principal, Ms. Ambreen Muzaffar as the section in charge for the senior section and Ms. Lubna Hanif who is looking after the prep section. School is as good as its teachers. The prep section faculty offers love, care, empathy to the younger ones. They lay the basis for and the foundation for the O-levels. Children here are taught values, morals and ownership to take up their studies independently. They impart quality education to our students. The senior section faculty teaches students to burn the midnight oil. They are the ones responsible for greater achievements. Top in the world positions, CIE Learner Awards, and their dedication knows no limit. The admin team is the backbone of any organization. Same is the situation at Gulshan Campus A, where each and every administrative staff member 
even the custodians are very concerned about the children's welfare. Dear parents, uh, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Maliha Majid, Vice Principal, Gulshan Boys Campus A. Welcome to the academic session 2020 and 2021. A message for all my worthy students. Dream big and have the power to convert or change your dreams into reality by studying hard and excelling in all the areas of learning. I wish and pray that this session brings a lot of achievement, aspiring and joyous moments for all of us. My special prayers are for the CIE predicted great students whose result will be announced inshallah on 11th of August 2020. Best of luck and Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum dear parents. I'm Andreen Muzaffar, section in charge of all levels. I welcome you all for the new academic session which is really exciting and challenging this year. Our top, our, our top priority is our students' academic success. I hope and wish good luck to all my PG students for the CI result, upcoming CI results. Hope you have a blessed and safe year ahead. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. This is Lubna Hani, senior mistress at the City School Gulshan Boys Campus A. Catering class 7 and 8. Welcome to the year 2020 and 21. I am counting on you to make the best year at this campus. We are here to support you every step of the way. For those of you returning back to our campus, I am glad to have you back at our campus over here to have the journey till all levels. For those students who are just joining our campus, we encourage you to make the most of your time here. Your campus experience will be what you make it and your opportunities will only be limited by the limits you place on yourself. As you start a new academic year, take advantage of the many services and opportunities, activities available to you to achieve your full potential. Welcome to our campus. Thank you. Throughout the last few months, it was not just teaching going on. There was another frame in which we were working and that was learning. Learning technology, hands-on, tools to cope up with the challenges and pressures of online teaching. We had to learn new softwares and what better way than the video that we have recorded will exactly tell you what we did in the past few months. Neil Donald said, and I quote, Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. As schools around the world transitioned to online learning during the COVID-19, students, parents and educators are all wondering what this means for education in the future. This is the time when information technology took its giant leap. This tech-savvy generation found itself endless possibilities. As educators, we all try to tune into the rhythm of online teaching. Amidst all this, we at City School Gulshan Campus A took a way forward, a new step in a very different direction. It all started with the option of online teaching, reaching to the child at home, in the safe confines of his home and family, and gently nudging him to accept the new era. The advent of remote teaching and learning was the only first aid available at hand. The entire staff became one big family on Zoom and then Google Classroom. Staff training and peer coaching began its toll as we dedicated endless time in training. Sessions at all the crazy hours, the impact was obvious. Our teachers pulled up the virtual school challenge as the crew empowered thanks to the intermittent training sessions. Different online competitions were achieved at such an interactive scale never heard of before. It wouldn't be unlikely to say that each day we were venturing new achievements trying our hands at broader spectrums and trying to accommodate anything and everything that could come in the possibility range. At GCA, we saw Nath, Kirat, bilingual declamations, Mazaya Mushaira, Pet, and even an online cooking contest. Yes, our boys were cooking. We believe that competition inspires learning. Yes, we face challenges every day, but God bless our Atma team. That's just a click away to fixing all the issues be it a password glitch or a gift hamper delivery on each day. We backed one huge achievement. It was the growing success of English language. 
English speaking environment in the online classes is evident. The topic I chose to present is the food test which forms the basic part of the biology ATP paper. Uh, please answer and use the chat box for any queries. Uh, converse in English only and please avoid any unnecessary chats. Keeping in mind that we just celebrated Earth Day, we will discuss sustainable development goals. Animals such as a sea turtle may mistake plastic bags for food. And now I'm going to show you that how it works. Oh dad, you are the one and you are the only best friend of me who can reach the top shelf. Now we have a couple of exercises how to improve calf muscles and prevent from the injury. All right everyone, welcome to the station, the city school online music classes. The voice that you are listening to is mine and I'm Sir Farman Ali. Your music teacher. Good afternoon, a very warm welcome to all of you. Last week we chose the novel The Adventures of the Tom Sawyer and finished his first chapter. A friend is a person who is loving and kind, and often he knows what you have on your mind. So just after a few days, I bought them. Uh, one of them, the female one, got really, really sick. Abraham Lincoln said, and I quote, "All the time today, and I tend to be in the future, is all because of my angel mother." Our journey of remote learning continues, breaking shackles and barriers. Here we overcome hurdles with teamwork, as this is our strength. Where it is GCM on Teams, class meetings, group work, presentations, virtual assessments, questionnaires, even bifurcation sessions of counseling with heads and support teaching. Isn't it amazing that we have traded upon all in just a span of over four months and been able to track our achievements, finding a way forward for all those places where we have stumbled. Thank you. Gulshan Campus A has the honor of being the winners of the IAC Award of the British Council. Our parents are well aware of it and so are the students. Apart from these achievements, we have had international university placements of our children who are very intelligent, having achieved learner awards. Last year, it was Usman that lifted the banner higher by putting us in the top positions across the world. In the very short period of time, while teaching online, we have realized how important it is to have a routine lifestyle as well. Attendance and regularity are those skills which have developed. They take a person a long way. We ask our students to be very regular in these classes because they have been tailored for them to see that no gaps in learning occurs. I would once again urge the parents to play their roles as partners in the education of their child. Please ensure regularity and punctuality of your child. The timetable has been made flexible with a little break in between after every period. Timetables will be shared in the groups of the classes. New teams classes have been set up. A few rules which have been adhered to in the last session online should be continued. And again, children should play their roles as responsible citizens. As we move on with the new academic session online, which is on 10th of August, we will continue with the new approaches that we have learned. Our curriculum has already been designed in such a way that children are going to benefit with the new topics as well as revise the old ones. Till the time we get into on-site teaching and learning, which will be after 15th of September as decided by the government, we are going to have a blended learning approach throughout the year. Session 2020 has taught us it is so important that technological tools advancements are taken up in letter and spirit. While the pandemic kept us away from a lot of things, it has hurled us towards new learning. Century is one such intervention tool that combines learning of science along with artificial intelligence to identify gaps, address the misconceptions and support teacher intervention. A tool that is actually a robotic teacher which is building the gaps of learning.
parents of the city school are fortunate to have the service which has been launched i would like you to watch the video before we move on every student encounters learning roadblocks on their learning journey that hold them back and stop them succeeding these might be missing pieces of knowledge misconceptions or even a lack of stretch and challenge as teachers our job is to identify these roadblocks and eliminate them. But we know that doing this is harder than it sounds. Monitoring every student's level of understanding across every topic can mean continuous marking and endless data. Tailoring learning materials for students can take hours of additional work each week. Century helps teachers make intelligent interventions quickly and easily. It combines artificial intelligence with the latest research in learning science and neuroscience to create an intervention tool like no other. The platform works in three ways. Kai, Century's AI engine, tracks every interaction for each student, identifying their specific needs and preferences. It creates a constantly adapting recommended path that provides each learner with tailored content that helps them progress. Century helps each learner to improve through question-by-question question and end-of-lesson feedback. Students are clear on where they went wrong and what they need to focus on next time. Century also supports teacher-led interventions. Students' work on Century is marked automatically and the data collected can be viewed through easy-to-use teacher dashboards. You can see which students have grasped a concept, who is struggling, and which students need to put in more effort. This makes it quick and easy to identify which learners require stretch and challenge or support in a timely and targeted way. It also means senior leaders can see the performance of an individual, a class or an entire subject area at a glance. Finally, Century saves teachers time in creating learning materials and marking. With Century, you can use data on the teacher dashboard to quickly assign classwork or homework tasks. Instead of making and adapting materials for each learner, you can select from thousands of high-quality resources, all created by our in-house team of experienced teachers, and assign them to individuals, groups of students, or a whole class. Independent learning in a supported way, easy-to-use actionable data, and high-quality resources are just some of the reasons why schools tell us Century is transforming the way they teach. To try it for yourself, and to find out how Century can help your school, book a free demo with our team. Century. Supercharge your teaching. The TCS blended tool of the Microsoft Teams has developed collaboration and communication to such an extent that children are so well versed with all those options there that they can submit their homework, their assignments and teachers can easily monitor their progress. We move on to the next video to gather more insight. Let's go to Teams, open up those computers. We talk about the four C's a lot. So it's communication, collaboration, critical thinking skills, and creativity. Teams really does all of them. It's highly collaborative because I have conversations more in real time, more informal, and more consistent. I have the ability to bring in apps that I would use, like OneNote. Then whenever you add video into the mix, I have real-time face-to-face -face happening. All those pieces together created an environment that you just don't see in anything today. Teams is basically a communication platform. There's a different channel for every topic that we go throughout the semester, and that's really the communication hub. I don't have to think as hard about how I'm going to find the answers and panic about missing a lecture because I know that I can always find the content. Within Teams, there's instant feedback back to that student and collaboration between students within an environment that's safe and effective for classroom learning. That learning process extends well beyond the confines of a school. Learning can happen just about anywhere. I would suggest educators really jump on board with technology because their students are ready. They're ready to take off. You can have things organized with teams. You can have folders with different subjects in it. It's just a better way of communicating because if you're not going to see somebody, you can still communicate with them even though they're not there. Teachers get a digital hub for classrooms and professional learning all in one area. There's a lot of power that can come out of that. 
Being a teacher, you never have all the answers, so it is nice to be able to collaborate with other team members, whether it be down the hallway, in another part of the building, or in another state. When we teach our teachers how to engage their voice, we want that to be applied in the classroom as well. When the students' experiences are driving the core of why we do what we do, then the meaning is always there. As you can very well see, the SOPs for online learning, it is so very essential that the parents do play their role in ensuring students attend the classes with regularity. The efforts of the teacher and the school management gets paid only when the children are there in full numbers. We would like to talk about the features of the blended approach after the SOPs which are so important for communication and collaboration. Time and again we have shared the safety rules for using online sites and parents should adhere to their child's progress allowing access accordingly. The TCS blended platform provides evaluation and monitoring. These are those tools which show progress not only to the teacher and to the parent but also to the student. When the school begins on site, we will surely be strictly following the government SOPs and adhere to them for whatever instruction is given then. Until then, the slides have been shared with you, not only for the parents but also for the students. Definitely home is the safest place to be. But when we come back to school, Inshallah, very soon, we will ensure it's a different new learning environment that we are going to continue. While playing, children should definitely remember when they are on site that they have to follow the SOPs even during their classes, while they are playing, while they are commuting to schools and even once they are going back home from school. With that, we end and I would like to thank you all for your patience. Thank you, Firman, for being a good host. You may carry on. It's been a pleasure being here with you today. And thank you all for taking out time from your busy schedule. Thank you all for your patience. I wish you a very good evening. And we will be ending the program with a video of our journey during this pandemic and how our teachers worked hard to make it all possible through online teaching. That was it from my side. Thank you and Allah Hafiz. Alright everyone, welcome to the station, the City School Gulshan Campus A Boys. This is your host Farman Ali and I'll be taking you to this mesmerizing ride where we create magic and memories. Besides the crucial time that we are facing today in the wake of pandemic, the City School Gulshan Campus A has created a legacy, one of its kind of spreading positivity. When the world grumbles of lockdowns and closed monuments, we bring school home. We bring the culture of remote learning into play and have energetic mornings and interactive classes. A book publisher buying a large quantity of paper. It's buying economies. Buying economies. Very good. A person might follow a bear's footsteps. It's very good. He might follow a bear's footsteps. Next. Anybody else? Is the correct answer. Can you tell me how did you uh, get to the answer? What assumptions you made? By applying the frequency request to speed up on wavelength 9.6 divided by 1.8 0 0.8 the wavelength given in the shallow water then I got the speed 6.4 So your assumption is frequency remains same. Excellent! The teens of our campus took a huge leap forward thus bringing alive the idea of flipped classrooms Morning and Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Ahmed Bernie and today we are going to study kinetic model of matter in the subject of physics. The topic I chose to present is the food test which forms the basic part of the biology ATP paper. What is homeostasis? 
homeostasis is the maintenance of a constant internal environment in the body. To start off with computational development, it's over to the student of grade 10. Children have been so earnest and active in attending classes and though we do miss the fun and the craziness of the class, it wouldn't be wrong to mention that we work in the vibrancy online too. Who says we can limit ourselves? Our TCS team will find a solution to every problem you have. From a long time, we have the support of PE music and library classes. And this is only possible with teachers taking a lead. Some new videos for you to keep you all fit in the blessed month of Ramadan. We are called Microsoft Schools for a reason. Our computer faculty and admin teams plunged into online trainings and took up support sessions, burning their proverbial midnight oil so that we are hands-on with all online tools of the Microsoft Teams and chat forums. SRO did not limit itself to circulars when our parents and students needed support on the British Council and CAIE's decision. Our SRO management along with our principals went live to answer their queries. Milestones can be made anywhere, anytime and we have developed one such in organizing competitions online. Now, have you ever thought about that? We are going to commence a program online comprising of two segments, the Khirat and the Nath competition. The first position goes to Shuja Uddin and so goes for Nath also. The first position goes to Sayyid Abbas. And before we end, let's take a quick sneak peek at what's brewing in these young minds while in lockdown. Hello Zan, what are you busy with? Hey Musa, I am on an exploration spree. Wait what? Exploration? Aren't we locked down in our homes and grounded for the longest time ever? Exactly. No entertainment at all. No way Musa. Trust me, this is the best time ever we have got. Even our parents didn't even get this time. Uh, like, uh, just to slow down a bit, reclaim the lost attachments, build up the generation gaps and catch up the chit chats. Yeah, and the communications which in our busy schedules we had actually lost as we are in such a hurry. We forgot to talk to each other. No storytelling, no hobbies. Exactly guys, I totally agree. Now I'm doing everything I wanted to and I'm exploring through technology. And I feel so good that I can share my knowledge and options of all these online forums with my teachers. And also be there for my friends, watch Tekka. We can be support to our teachers and as well we can be the support to our parents. We have taken self-responsibility for our learning. We now have to talk during lessons. And take turns when to mute and unmute mics. <laughs> we all like to be the pets of our teachers, don't we? I agree with that. One for all and all for one. Thank you Team GCA for the amazing engagement. As not only academics, you brought library, music and physical education into the students home, proving that schools are so much more than just schools. Our integrated learning has not for a moment allowed our kids to fall bleak. And when we join back to the bubbling world, back to routine, back to independence, when we open the doors of the now closed world tomorrow, we sure will make history, exemplify to the world that there came a generation who was bound under calamity and fought it optimistically and returned back smiling, shining, lively as ever before. Until we meet again, stay home, stay safe and stay blessed. Farman Ali is finally signing off and sending lots of love on behalf of the City School Gulchan Campus A Boys.